Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today we have the Civivi Courser. Another new knife from Civivi. I swear this is not just going to be a Civivi channel. They just keep coming out with them. <laughs> and you guys want to know about them. New brand from Wii. It's their budget brand. And they just keep coming. I feel like at the end of the year, I'm going to have like a video of my top five Civivis of 2018. Because they, they just keep coming. This is the fifth one. Blade Show West just happened, it just ended like as I'm recording this video, and they released like, uh, they showed like three more there, so uh, there's going to be more coming. Um, But this is the Courser, this is from their currently higher end line, I don't know the prices of the ones they released there, so you've got in the 4250 range you have stuff like this, uh, this is the Backlash, we'll talk about that shortly with 9CR18 MOV, and then you have knives like this, which are VG10 Titanium Pocket Clips upgraded hardware and they're about 68 bucks so exactly 68 bucks not about they're 68 dollars and it so they're doing, doing two little price ranges now there's a third one coming i don't know what price range that's going to be but a uh, pretty cool knife this is an interesting knife i'm gonna say uh some things about it made me go huh i i, I like it overall but a couple things just kind of stumped me and maybe you guys will explain in the in the comments below why why this is a good idea. Uh, they haven't made a mistake yet, so I'm a, I'm, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. There's just a few things I don't really understand about this knife, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that as we go on. Let's do some stats and size comparisons and all that crap first. We have an overall length of 8 inches, blade length of 3.45 inches. You have a blade thickness of 0 0.13, handle thickness of 0 0.56 and a weight of just 3.4 ounces, so not bad at all. Before we do size comparisons, I will say, if you want one of these at the end of this review, you can go to White Mountain Knives, use my little code, SDWMK, you get 10% off. That's great, and you can use that anytime, anywhere, on the site, on anything. So, not just for these, but I like to put that out over there and every now and then when it's a knife that I know is in stock at, at White Mountain Knives. And Civivis sell quick, so... Uh, it might not be in stock at a whole lot of places, so let's do a few size comparisons now that I've rambled and done my shilling. Uh, first of all, we will compare it against your Ontario Rat Model 1. You see length, it's, it's pretty close to the Model 1, but it's a much slimmer knife. Uh, next up we will do the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Almost a little, yeah, almost exactly the same length as a PM2. Again, much slimmer. Oh, what else do we want to do for, uh, we'll grab one more of the standards here. Your uh, Spider Co. Delica. Quite a bit larger than the Delica. And then we will compare it against a couple of its uh, Civivi stable mates. This is also in that $68 one. This is the Aquila. You can see again, very similar length, but much slimmer. And the less expensive 4250 Backlash. All right, as you can see, I prefer to get these in black. They do come in other colors. <laughs> uh, this one, I believe, comes in a tan and a green, I think. Um, I, I forgot to look at that before I did the review, so correct me if I'm wrong down below. But uh, it does come in other colors other than this black. All of them have the gold liners, which you can hardly see, because as you can see, they are nested liners. That's uh, one of the interesting aspects of this design. All the other Civivis are not nested liners. They're all exposed liners with the gold on this and then on the gold. And then the only one that's blue is just this uh, Backlash. But on the cheaper one, the Backlash has blue exposed liners. Um, that's nice, I guess. But uh, I'm kind of wondering if that contributes to one thing that I'm kind of not understanding. Because you have this nice slim blade, which I really do love the blade shape. It's just a basic drop point. Great blade. I, I do love the blade shape on it. Uh, but uh, the handles are pretty thick, as I said, 0.56, where all the rest of them are, let's just grab one here, just so I can show you. You're looking at, you know, 0.515 on that, 0.156. They're all a little bit slimmer. Man, these, these calipers suck. I really need to get new ones. Yeah, so slimmer handles on all the other models. Um... I, I think I think I might prefer that. If I've got this nice slim blade, I would kind of prefer a slim handles. And it's thicker blade stock. So when I say slim, I mean by the height. It's just a, it's a not a, a tall blade at all. So you're looking at, you know, against the Aquila, you know, it's, it's not anywhere near the height of the 
of the blade, but it's thicker blade stock. 0 0.13 is actually pretty thick for a Civivi. Most of them are much slimmer than that. Um, let me grab another one again and just do that, that measurement. So on the backlash, for example, yeah, you're looking at basically 0 0.11, 0 0.12. It's, it, they're a little slimmer. So the, the blade's thicker in width, but much shorter in height. And then you've got these thicker handles. The overall look of it looks cool. I think it, it actually kind of reminds me of like a fisherman's knife, just the overall aesthetics of it. Because uh, you have kind of a good chunky handle that's comfortable, but you have a, a nice skinny little blade. But I, I, it's still, the blade stock's a little thicker than the other ones, and it's not as tall. It's kind of odd. A lot of people say, oh, this is just a budget version of the Practic. It really isn't. The Wii Practic, under their full name, I have one here. Uh, as you can see, the blade is much taller. It's a hollow grind. This is a flat grind. When they made the Aquila, this one I've shown a couple times, it was basically they took one of their old models, the Ignition, which I don't have here, and they basically it seemed like they just put it in the copier to 110% and then made it out of less expensive materials. And I kind of thought that's what this was going to be to the Practic, because this is a $144 knife. It's M390. It's a great, it's a great buy for, for what it is, but still it's got, you know, it's a much more expensive knife. I kind of thought that's what we were going to get here, and we didn't. It's, uh, at a glance, the blade looks similar, but it isn't at all. This is much taller, and what I, what baffles me about it is, uh, there's room for it. It, it could be a taller blade. I mean, this is going to be really hard to show on camera, but, uh, there's plenty of room in there. They could have made this backspacer slimmer, and there's plenty of room to have made this blade a couple millimeters taller and I and make it hollow grind, and I kind of don't understand why they didn't. It's not a cost thing, because the Aquila is the same price as a hollow ground blade, so I just, the VG10 steel, all the same components, all that stuff. I'm a bit confused, that's all I'm going to say, but it is... It is good. Let's go to, Let's go in order now that I've rambled for a bit and, and talk about the stuff in order that I normally talk about. The blade is a good one. It's uh, about 18, 19 thousandths behind the edge. As I said, flat grind. So it's a bit thicker behind the edge than uh, the other Civivis. Not surprising because it's a little bit thicker blade stock and it's uh, shorter. You know, there's less height there and it's a flat ground. So not surprising there. Uh, it still cuts really well. It still came just as sharp out of the box as the other ones do. They, Civivi and we do a great job with sharpening now. It's just, uh, I remember back uh, when I first started this channel, some Wii's weren't always super sharp out of the box, but they've been on it this year. They've just been great. Uh, really good sharp out of the box. I, I do like the blade shape. Um, it does have a pretty robust tip, which is really nice. That's very good. Uh, so I kind of get, maybe that's what they're going for. I don't know. But, uh, that works great ergonomically. It is outstanding. I will say that. It's a, the handle's a bit thicker than I would like in a knife like this, but it is very, very comfortable. Zero, zero hot spots. I mean, it is ergonomically excellent. So maybe that's what they were going for again. But uh, um, the, just enough jumping up here to get a hold of, but not a whole ton of extra stupid crap, you know. The, the pocket clip, the tight pack, the, the, wow, that was a stutter and a half. The tie pocket clip on this works a lot better than I think it does on the uh, on the Aquila. Because on the Aquila, you're getting a fair amount sticking out there. Here, you're really not. Let me get out the uh, the old beat up Wranglers and check that out. As you can see, yeah, hardly anything sticking out of there at all. Depending on what color you know of the G10 you pick, you know the there's it's not a very visible knife it's a pretty discreet carry nice slim clip i do like that uh as i said on the other though uh when i reviewed the aquila if if the reason part of the reason why that these are more expensive than the basics of evs is that titanium pocket clip i'd rather they just went with the loop over that you have like you know in the backlash and the practice and those ones because this clip is fine if this would have made it cheaper I'd rather they went with that. Um, deployment on this is really good. I actually do have to say, uh, of and it, you know, this is an example to example thing. I've only tried one of each, but all the Civivis have had excellent detent. Uh, uh, every one I've tried, this is the fifth now. 
they've all been pretty good. The Naha was a, a bit stiff, but most of them are, are good. Uh, this one is the best. This is the deployment on this. The, the detent is just so good. It's just, it's awesome. And that's saying something for us, Vivi. Um, it's really good. It's, I don't know what else to say. It's excellent. It's not completely drop shut, but it's pretty darn close to it. I've not taken this one apart yet and done anything to it. So um, I can't, I may be able to make it drop shut. We'll see. I managed to pretty much pull that off with the uh, Praxis, which is a bit bigger, but uh, that's pretty much just a guillotine now. But um, deployment's great. It's it's a good knife. It is. It, and the carry also, too. It's something I forgot to mention. The carry. It is very slim. I get why they made it slimmer. I do understand that. But if you're going to make it slim in the height, then why don't you also make it slim in the handle? Which is, this is kind of the conclusion part, I guess, is I just don't get why the handle is so thick. Uh, it doesn't affect the actual day-to-day -day carry of it that much, but it just seems unnecessary. And I do feel like they could have made this blade a bit taller. I would have liked to have seen this blade a bit taller in hollow ground instead of this short flat grind. Um, that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. It's a nice knife. Nothing nothing glaringly wrong with it. It'll work great for you. I just don't understand why they uh, chose this particular blade shape to match up to this particular handle. I'm just, I'm a bit, I'm a bit confused, but uh, it's a good knife and 68 bucks. It's definitely, the quality definitely fits it. It comes with all this Civivi usual stuff. You get the nice box, you get the pouch. If this is the first Civivi video you've watched, you can see this again. You get this nice pouch, you know, you get the little cloth and all that stuff. It's, it's fine. I, there's nothing, nothing glaringly wrong with it. It's just, just a bit confusing, and that may just be me. If you guys want to explain down below why I'm an idiot, go ahead, knock yourselves out. Thank you for putting up with my terrible voice again for another video. Uh, my daughter gave me cholera. I'm just going to keep naming weird diseases. It's just a cold, but it's a really bad one. So I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.